is going to be a team effort from the coaches to the players to the trainers, everybody in this hallway. This is going to be our best moment. Tonight, live on MSG Varsity, champions will be crowned. Out at Mitchell Athletic Complex, it is the New York Catholic League AAA Championship game between number two, St. Anthony's, and number 15, Stepanak. We'll get you out to Uniondale in just moments. And just about 10 football fields away, more than 1,000 yards over at Hofstra University, a Nassau Conference 2 champion will be crowned between Garden City and Wontaw. Find out if the best defense on Long Island can three-peat. You'll be able to watch Wontaw and Garden City right after the completion of our post-game show as we wrap up St. Anthony's and Stepanak. It's a double dose of Friday night football, and we are just about 13 minutes and 45 seconds away from kickoff. Hi, everybody. I'm Jared Greenberg inside of our Football Central Studios. Not one, but two games for you live on the air on this Friday evening. It's a, it's a brisk night, 42 degrees, but perfect football weather. We'll get you out to those games in just a moment. But we also want to let you know that we'll get you up to speed on scores from throughout the Tri-State area. It's a big semifinal Friday night in New Jersey. The New York State semifinals also have punched a ticket. We'll talk about those. But first, we begin out in Nassau County, where last night, the playoffs got underway for the set for the county finals. It was two teams that really weren't expected to be at this point when you looked at what happened earlier this season. But look at East Rockaway taking on Roosevelt. What a grab. Nick Ulip from jo from Sean Bohan and East Rockaway tied the game at seven. But here comes Aaron Parker, one of the most prolific rushers on Long Island and one of the best ones in the Tri-State this year. One of his two runs of 60 yards or more. He ran for 192 yards and two touchdowns. Roosevelt wins the Nassau Conference Four title. Who would they meet in the Long Island Championship? It came down to Glenn and Amityville. Rich Chacheca to Nick Wagner. And it was 14-0 after one. But here comes Willie White and Amityville. The speed, the talent of this team wouldn't go away. But the night really belonged out at Stony Brook to Rich Chacheca. The first-year starter breaks off a 56-yard run. He had 396 total yards and five touchdowns. Back-to-back -back Suffolk County Division IV championships for Glenn. They win it 42-30. And both of these finals you'll be able to watch on MSG Varsity this weekend. Saturday at 12.30, it is East Rockaway against Roosevelt. Then on Sunday at 12.30, hey, Jets don't play, Giants play late. No reason for you not to tune in. And that means they'll advance to the Long Island Championship, which of course we'll also have right here on MSG Varsity. Glenn against Roosevelt. The games will be played Friday out at Hofstra. It'll air Saturday. And then in, we talk about uh, Class 2. It'll either be East Islip, Newfield, they play tonight, or Garden City and Wontaw, they play tonight as well. The winners of those two games will air on next Sunday. All right, well, we have a whole lot more to talk about, including in New Jersey, where tonight kicks off the semifinals of the state sectional championships. And here are some of the real big contests that we're keeping our eye on, including one in North Bergen and Union City. We'll have updates from that one throughout the contest. Also, Sayreville and South Brunswick. Steve Levy will be there. Don Bosco Prep trying to get closer to six-peating. Riverdale and Ramsey, these two know each other so well. They played live on Friday Night Football a couple of weeks back. Paramus and Wayne Hills and Old Tapan and Pascac Valley. Well, they're already at the half. And let's get you up to date on what's going on there. Check out Pascac Valley. Magical season for this team. And you know the story of Devin Fuller, one of the most highly recruited players in the Tri-State area this year. But right now it's 10 to 6 Pascac Valley. Zach Costa continued his real impressive season. He's got a 31-yard field goal. Devin Fuller, he does have a touchdown. Don't count him out. We'll keep you up to date on that game with Mike Quick throughout our live broadcast. Well, let's talk to you about the New York State football playoffs. In Class D, Chester gone further than any program, any uh, Chester football team in school history, and right now they continue to get there. Look at this, punching a ticket to the state final with a 38-22 to win and doing so with some history. Saxon Smith, we've been detailing him on the high school sports desk throughout the last few weeks. He has set the new Section 9 single-season rushing record. He had four touchdowns in this contest. What a great performance by him. We'll keep you up to date on everything else you need to know, but coming up next, live football out on Long Island. 